Now, in the sun this morning, let's start there. Don't walk is the headline, Dino. Man City Pep Guardiola says he wants to keep Cal Walker, but involved in a tug of war with Bayern Munich to keep him. He's 33 now, uh, Kyle, but still fit as a fiddle. He has one year left in his contract. Said he was hurt after losing his spot in City's starting living towards the end of last season. Ahead of City's pre season friendly against Bayern later today, Pep says we'll fight for him, but I'm pretty sure Bayern will. Wonderful play him. I don't know how he's going to go. Uh, going to finish? What do you reckon? Well, I actually think he's got quicker as he's got in his thirties. Believe it or not, he's he's always lightning quick. That diet, different training, stretching. Yeah. Um, it'll be a big loss. I mean, I, I don't know whether the comment, which was a bit cutting from Pep during the season, when he he was getting his right back to walk into the middle of midfield, and he said, "Kyle Walker can't do this." John Stones can do it. Kyle Walker can't do it. He said, "Can you remember he said that?" To be fair, though, uh, no, he, and I do remember it. But to be fair, at the time, I thought, "What, John Stones?" But look how he's yeah. performed there. He was right. Yes, um, I'm not saying Kyle can't, but John Stones most certainly can. Well, brilliant. yeah, yeah, brilliant. Uh, the only thing I can think of is he wants to have a go at playing abroad at some point in his career, and and he's 33, and if he wants to have a go and play in Germany for a different club abroad, I done it. You done it, and it is a it is a great experience that you look back on. Uh, but it takes a lot to leave Man City. Did I see just before I forget? Did I see Zaha's going to Galatasaray? Yeah. Now that amazed me. Not look, you've been out there, you played out there, yeah. and don't get me wrong, Galatasaray, you know, big big Champions League side. But I'd have thought if he's going to leave the Premier, I thought he'd have been heading to Saudi. Well, yeah. I did. I think you're not on your own thinking like that. I think a lot of people were shocked by it, but I'm a bit shocked that none of the top eight have come in for him. You know, I think he'd if you start going through their teams, which teams would he get in? Yeah, he get in most of them. He's a he's a great player, isn't he? I think, well, um, on his game, he's yeah, not it, unstoppable. But he's you're, you're right. He's right up there. Yeah, and the only thing I can think of is uh, if he went to Saudi, he might have other things going on in his life, and maybe you know he he doesn't want to do that. He can still play in the Champions League if he signs for Galatasaray. And I have to tell him, he'll love it. I've, I've done it. I went out there. It's a massive club, a completely different experience. And I, I thought the people were lovely. And, and Istanbul, the football club. no problems, lovely? Well, I went in 1995. So uh, I lived in uh, Etila, a place just near the Bosphorus. Um, but now it's got better and better and better and better and become more say better it's become more modern and the more western European western side eastern side of the Bosphorus what side well Fenerbahce is over the bridge you go over a bridge to get in Fenerbahce is in Africa yeah and sorry in Asia and east meets west isn't yeah, it yeah and Galatasaray is in you know the other side so um, it is a bit unusual but great games to play in I mean I played in the game where Graeme Sunes stuck the flag in the ground mm. and um, that was a great game I can look back on so I've got nothing but good things to say about Galatasaray and playing for a massive club. He'll love it when he gets there, but I do find it a bit strange that none of the top teams have come in for him. OK, let's look at the times this morning. Are Saudis about to change the face of world football? The times look at various case and points and how the Saudi Pro League could challenge European and world football. Oil back spending has been the story of the summer, but can they continue the agenda and can they one day rival the Premier League? Uh, Dino, do you think the Saudi challenge is here to stay? Will you watch it on television? Uh, well, I was just getting used to the teams now. I think we're better the amount of players going over there. But uh, they've bought uh, tennis, they bought golf, Racing's, they bought Formula One, they bought try, horse racing. Yeah, that's big there. <clears throat> the, I, I said boxing. This, I think, <clears throat> boxing they bought, and I think they're going to have a go at football. And then people will say, well, they can't buy football, can they? Well, they can get into FIFA and then start taking major decisions. To slant it in their yeah. direction. And they'll have a World Cup soon as well, won't they? Probably. Yeah. Money talks. I mean, I, I, I don't know what they're doing, but I think they're sitting there. Right, we're going to have Mbappe. And what we'll do, we'll just keep putting £50 notes on the table until he says yes. And they've done it with lots of players. Um, and it's like as if nothing's stopping them. <sighs> it's every day, isn't it? Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.